My name is Nadia Pacheco Amaro. I am in my second of three years because I'm doing two masters. I'm doing information science here at the School of Information and Library Science, and I'm also doing public administration at the School of Government. My name is Sandeep Paula, and I'm a PhD candidate in information science. And I also got my master's over here at SILS. I pursued the dual degree program, and so I graduated from the BSIS last December and then started the master's program this last January. Prior to SILS, I was uh, working in publishing, academic publishing at Oxford University Press, which was my dream job all through uh, undergraduate college. I found that being an editor didn't have as much of actually editing as much as um, collection development style of work, and I wanted to be more involved in the research process itself. I think that an example of how public administration and um, information science go together is one of the projects that I'm working on right now. For my usability testing class, I am working with a team to uh, do usability testing, which is basically taking the system and actually having users run tasks through the system to, um, to see certain usability principles in action and if it's complying with them. What I'm really excited about is that my team, we're working on the City of Durham website and we're going to be giving a report to the City of Durham so that they can implement these changes. This last year I've had the opportunity to be project manager for a project called Raytum and this has just been a brand new experience to me. I learned more about what handling a big project looks like what kinds of different things get involved in organizing like the project itself, different events, and like managing people, communicating with other people, and all of these different experiences that you never get real experience on until you enter the workforce. So in order to become more involved in the research process, I thought, well, I'm not face to face with people. I'm talking to them through email and I'm talking with them about how to publish. But I had only a specific amount of time that I could devote to them and I could tell that these authors needed some more support. So in a library setting, we can offer these sort of workshops. We can help to guide them through the publishing process, through the research process, and that seemed like the perfect place for me to still be able to help with dissemination of scholarship. The opportunity to meet and, you know, just, just engage in wonderful conversations with a lot of people sounds a bit cliched, but uh, if I just take the composition of the lab that I'm working with, there are, I work with people from all across the world and who've come from all sorts of disciplines and working on all these like problems which are, which are somewhat similar but also not similar. Day to day, sitting together with them for lunch or going out to get coffee with them and discussing the ins and outs of the problems that I am working, that they are working, discussing our dreams and our passions. So things like that, Th those are things like, you know, when I think back at, 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 at things that make me smile and things that make me really uh, happy at being at SILS. I didn't realize how much I was going to love the courses that I'm taking and how much I was going to love the professors and just the material. Um, I thought, you know, I'm going to come here just to satisfy some technical skills that I, I don't yet have, but instead I've found just this new realm of possibilities and this new wealth of knowledge that I didn't even know existed. And to me, I all I want now is to shout SILS and information science to anybody who will listen. Straight up applying to a PhD would not have been possible had I not had funding during my master's. I mean, you know, I'm just telling myself and telling my you know family back home too that I'm going to go do this, this thing called PhD which means for the next five or six years I won't make any money. It just, uh, it just gave me that sense of security knowing that I, I got funded initially and then that there are these sources which can help you, you know, when you're doing this program. I've received the Burmeister Fellowship, so I don't have to pay as much in my admissions for every semester, which has meant a great deal. 
Also in regards to funding, it means that I can go to conferences to meet people um, who are big in the field, um, that I can talk from uh, with them and learn from them, um, who they can recommend like other people I should be talking to, um, and to build up my name so that more people are aware of who I am and maybe then they'll hire me. I'm gonna be honest, financial burdens, they're heavy. When I was about to start the year and I didn't know exactly how I was going to, what job I was gonna have or how I was gonna pay for it, it was a huge burden on my learning. Being a project manager for this grant and some of the other opportunities that I've got, I've actually had the opportunity to put myself through my master's program. And that was a really amazing experience for me to feel that kind of independence and knowing that somebody else is just as invested in my career as I was or my family was or the school was. It was just something knowing that somebody else cares as much and who wants me to succeed. They're ready for me to go out and make something of myself in the world and put forth something that someone else can benefit from. So I think that's a really important feeling. Susan Gray Acres Scholarship. Lester Ashen Scholarship Fund in Library Science. Gary Fenton Barefoot Fund for Student Excellence. Mary Boone Bernson Fund for the School of Information and Library Science. Lisa M. Burmeister Fellows Fund. Isaac and Rita Chow Fund for Silk Student Support. Dorlin Hickey Fund. Michael Hooker Graduate Fellowship in Applied Networking. Flora S. Lockridge Endowed Scholarship Fund. Charlotte Mecklenburg Library Assistantship. Amy Elizabeth Morgan Assistantship. Irene Owens Fund for Diversity and Global Programs. Maddie U. Russell Endowed Fund for Student Success. Barbara B. Moran Fund for Global Programs. May Lipscomb Rodney Fund. Lewis Round Wilson Fellowship. <laughs>